have you got a set of watercolour pencils languishing at the bottom of your paint bag and maybe they're not very good quality like these ones and you think oh, what can I do with those why did I buy them well there's a lovely technique called colour sanding which produces a beautiful fleckled effect on your watercolours that you just can't achieve in other ways so stick around and I'll show you that my name's Liz Chatterton. I'm a watercolour artist based in Berkshire and every week I bring you a tip, trick or technique that I wish someone had told me when I started painting. And this week it's colour sanding. So let me show you a few examples of what colour sanding looks like in practice. So on this portrait of horse, if we look, there are some big marks here done wet in wet, but then there are some tiny marks done with colour sanding and let me zoom in for you so you can see what they look like. And then another example on this, this amaryllis here. Again, probably best to zoom in on this flower down here so that you can see these tiny little marks that I've done with colour sanding. So it's a really versatile technique, lovely for sort of polleny flowers, but great for markings and just perfect for the speckles on a robin's egg or something like that. So where you want tiny little flecks of colour, this is the technique for you. So when you're colour sanding, you don't have to use decent watercolour pencils like these Inktense ones. You can just use the cheapy ones that you, you buy in sort of discount shops, but they do need to be watercolour pencils, not ordinary colouring pencils, because they just won't work. Colour sanding is very simple. You just need your watercolour pencils, possibly a sharp knife and a bit of medium sandpaper. The paper that you're sanding onto does need to be damp. You can just dampen it with clean water or you could use um, a wash of colour. If your paper is quite wet, the watercolour pencils will start to dissolve into it. Let me show you. So you get your, your sandpaper and your pencil and just rub it and you start to get these beautiful flecks. Let's do it into the, the wash as well and you can see how lovely it is. You can build up different colours. I wonder what will show up on that green. So I've got a sort of purpley colour here. And you can see because this is a little bit wetter that this area is starting to dissolve and spread. This was a little bit drier, still damp, but a little drier and they've stayed more discreet. The other thing you can do is to use your sharp knife and pencil and scrape off little lumps of the pigment so you get slightly larger mark and that can be beautiful as well. And any dust that goes into a dry area, just blow it away and it will only stick to the wet area. So there you go, that's colour sanding, a great way to use up poor quality watercolour pencils and it produces the most gorgeous effect that you can use on flowers, animals, oh, speckled hen's eggs, all sorts, or just in an area where something needs to happen, you know, if it's a little bit boring. Great in abstracts and it's just an all-round gorgeous, gorgeous effect.